All right, let's talk to people from the audience. We do this via Discord at davidpackman.com slash Discord. We have um, so many people waiting to chat, so let's not delay any further. Let's really get right into it. Why don't we first talk to and I, and again, this is just first. Let's talk to Drew from New York. Drew, welcome to the program. What's on your mind today? Wait, uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Wonderful. It's great to be here. It's my first time on call. Great. What's going on today? So um, first question, given that right now they're doing, I think, the fourth ballot for the House. If I, um, what do you think the over under is for 12 ballots? Honestly, I have no idea. And by the time this airs, we'll almost certainly know what the outcome was. So I don't, I don't even want to wade into that. That's fair. That's fair. Um, the, the, the questions I've had, I've been holding on for since the midterms. But so I don't know. I don't I hope you don't mind if I ask about not that. at all. So in your opinion, what do you think was the, the biggest ups, single upset for any of any of the individual elections from the midterms? Oh, you know what? My memory goes blank like five days after any event until I review the biggest upset. Uh, well, I mean, in a sense, it was even though she still won the narrow margin that Lauren Boebert ended up going by, like it wasn't an upset and that she still came away a winner, but it was such a slim margin. So I I mean, I think that that was very interesting. There were a number of races where the margin was was much smaller for the Republican than expected. And it just all kind of goes to is MAGA deflating. And we'll we'll know probably pretty soon if the answer is yes. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. I, I I had always had it in mind that for me though it was the Wisconsin governor, not just the fact that Evers is able to win, but by the margin that he was able to. Win. Yeah, that's the, that's a good one. That that may be it. Yeah, I would have to review. Uh, you you caught me off guard, but there were a number of them, Drew. Right. And the, the last one. This should be quick. Given with the last um, midterm election being decided with the runoff, would you rather be a vampire or a werewolf? Well, I think I would rather be a werewolf because the idea of drinking blood is very unappealing to me. That's true. Yeah, that would that wouldn't work for me, I don't think. All right. All right, my friend, thank you for the call. Thank you. All right. There goes Drew with a number of questions. We always love to see that. It's a new year. Many of us are trying to make new positive changes. Here's something really simple that could be a game changer. Our sponsor, Athletic Greens. Every day I take a scoop of AG1. I get 75 high quality vitamins, minerals and whole food sourced ingredients to last me all day long. This way, I just know my nutritional bases are covered for the entire day. It has everything I want. And that's important to me. Rather than doing the individual supplements and vitamins or whatever, I don't want to do any of that. OK, AG one is the simplest way to just get everything I want for my nutritional foundation each day. AG one is also a great bang for your buck. You're going to end up spending way more on all those bottles of vitamins and supplements and minerals. So save some money, make your life easier. Just a scoop of AG one. I love the travel packs, which let me take AG one wherever I go. I have the big pack of AG one at home. And when you go to athleticgreens.com slash Pacman, you'll get five free travel packs plus a free year supply of vitamin D, which I use during the winter. The link is down below.